Okay, here we go. Hello, and welcome to this workshop. I'm Michael Delon, and over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you a very simple, proven method to not only attract new customers, but engage with them more profitably and retain them for life. It's part of the holistic approach to business growth that I teach with my private clients. Most business owners and advertising people focus primarily on attracting new customers. Now, as important as that is, there are two other stages of business that you need to move your customers through in order to maximize your profit and grow your business. Now, the cornerstone of this holistic approach to marketing and business growth is what I call the ATM marketing system. It's as simple as putting money in the bank. Now, here's the backstory and the challenge. This all began when I was making a deposit at the bank. Now, my two sons are 16 and 13, and they own a lawn mowing company called College Bound Brothers, and I was making a deposit for them at the bank using the ATM. And I, and I was making a deposit for them. Now, here's the backstory and the challenge. Now, here's the backstory and the challenge. This all began when I was making a deposit at the bank. My two sons own a lawn mowing company. They're 16 and 13 years old, and they own a lawn mowing company called College Bound Brothers. And I was making a deposit for them at the bank using the ATM. Now, in my marketing consulting firm, I work with business owners all the time. I'm in the business world, and I'm talking with people all the time about marketing and advertising and the struggles and the frustrations business owners have with marketing their business and growing their business and how to do it properly and profitably. And I was sitting there with the ATM thinking, you know, if marketing and advertising could just be as simple as using an ATM, business owners would be thrilled. So that's the seed that germinated in my mind and what led to the ATM marketing system. So I was asking myself, what are the challenges that small business owners face? So I'm a small business owner and I had some answers, but I went out and asked a few people that I know in the business world and I asked them, what are, the, what are your greatest challenges? And here are their answers. They're overworked and underpaid. They have too much stress. They are too busy. They're not very good at marketing. They have very little, if any, time off where they're completely disconnected from their business. There's not enough good ideas, so they fall back to what they've always done. They don't understand how to make marketing and advertising work, and they're stuck in a brand-oriented marketing mentality. They have no fresh ideas. They use what I call the copycat mentality. It's looking at what everybody else is doing. Jay Abraham talks about the difference between tunnel vision, where you're just looking at, at your business, your competitors, and your industry, versus funnel vision, where you're looking at other industries and you're borrowing proven methods and strategies from other industries and applying them in your industry. Because if, if an idea or a strategy works in one place, it's going to work in another. Also, these business owners don't know where to turn for help. There's not enough time to focus on marketing or growing the business because they're so busy wearing a thousand different hats. They feel trapped in a prison of their own making with no way out. Do any of those resonate with you? I know they did with me. So what, what causes so much frustration and disappointment when it comes to advertising and marketing? Well, it's the game. You see, the game is played out in businesses like yours every day. Who are the players? You and the advertising salespeople who come to call on you. And here's the game. They tell you what you want to hear so that you will buy what they have to sell. Now, whether it's good for you or even if it will work for you is completely beside the point. Selling is a numbers game and they know it. You see, the problem is more often than not, they're like the casinos in Vegas, and they come out the winner most every time. But there is a way for you to win. You need to stack the deck in your favor. Now, that's not recommended in Vegas, but it is okay in advertising. 
when they hold all the cards, you have no chance. And they hold all the cards when you have no options. So the solution is to give yourself some options. You know, the worst time to buy anything is when you need it. So to win the game, just simply have to, you have to simply position yourself to not need what they're selling. And to do that, you need to understand the other part of the game. And that is the myths that they tell you. So what we're going to do is we're going to expose the myth of marketing. And we're going to talk about seven of them. The first one being the myth of promoting your brand. When you talk with advertising people and you look at the industry of advertising and marketing, you're going to hear a lot about promoting your brand, promoting your image. Well, I'm here to tell you that for a local small business, that is not where you need to be. That is a myth that it can only work for large corporations because only large corporations have the money to put out month after month, day after day, promoting their brand. You know, organizations like Apple and Walmart and, and Nike and Dell, they have millions and millions of dollars that they can put out uh, to promote their brand. Uh, you don't. You know, if you, have, if you have an advertising budget anywhere south of $2 million a year, uh, you don't need to be promoting your brand. You need to be um, getting profits in the door using direct response advertising. The second myth is to be cool or be left out. Well, that's, a, that's an old uh, song by, I think, Rush, back from my high school days. Uh, so this is to be social or be left out. The myth is that if you are not on uh, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus and whatever next social media is going to come out, that you're going to be completely left out and you're going to go out of business. Well, I'm telling you, that is a myth. Uh, that is not true at all. Uh, it's not that those things are bad or wrong and there, there are ways to integrate them into your marketing, but uh, you're not going to get left out. What you need to do is focus on proven methods that have stood the test of time and we're going to talk about those today. The third myth is the idea that a media mix is mandatory. Uh, when you talk with people, they're going to tell you about a media mix, that you need to do a little bit of newspaper and a little bit of radio and a little bit of outdoor and a little bit of uh, direct memo, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and spread your message around so that you reach everybody. And I'm here to tell you that's absolute nonsense. For a local small business, you don't have any reason to do a media, media mix. What you need to do is focus your marketing dollars on one media and dominate that media. You see, there is no future in being a small fish in a big pond. There really isn't. What you want to do is you want to be a big fish in a small pond. You want to take one media, you choose the media, and you want to dominate it as much as you possibly can and put all of your eggs in that one basket so that you become a household name to that one audience. We'll talk more about that in a bit. The fourth myth that we want to expose is that pictures are better than words. You know, somebody said one time pictures are worth a thousand words. Well, I disagree because you show somebody a picture and you're going to get all kinds of interpretations on that picture. And the second thing is we don't make decisions based on pictures. We make decisions based on words because words have meaning. And so words are where it's at. It's what you say in your advertising and marketing that matters the most. The pictures are fine, and they can help complement what is said. Okay, Look at a television, a television commercial. If you mute it and you take out the words, what do the pictures tell you? Most of the time, nothing. That Words are more important than pictures every time. So you have to expose that myth that pictures are better than words because they are not. It's the words that you use. It's what you say in your marketing and advertising that will cause people to respond to you. The fifth myth myth is that uh, logic trumps emotion. We're a very logical society. We like to have reasons uh, for everything. Well, the problem is in advertising and marketing, emotion is more important than logic because we are emotional beings and we make decisions emotionally. Okay, So that's why, um, he'll, that, that's why the guy will spend $2,500 on a shiny rock. Okay, It's because when he gives it to his fiance and she opens up the he opens up the box and she goes oh, is that real he's buying the emotion okay he's spending money to get that emotion that reaction when he when as a jeweler if you sell the reaction you're going to sell more diamonds okay 
It doesn't matter about the cut, color, clarity, and carat weight of the diamond. The guy doesn't care about that. What he cares about is the reaction, the emotional connection of her, and then when she shows it to all of her friends, that's what he's paying for. Once we make a decision emotionally to buy something, we'll find all the reasons and logic to back up what our gut tells us we want to do. So the myth is logic trumps emotion. That is not true. Emotion wins the game every time. The sixth myth is that money is still king. Okay, Most people will talk to you about price and how important price is and how really to get new customers you have to lower your price and that's not always the case. There are price strategies that you have to be aware of to know how to position yourself in the market. You don't want to be the low price leader. You really don't. You're going to go out of business in that because there's always going to be somebody who can do it more efficiently and more effectively and come in and undercut you and put you out of business. Okay, Money is not king. People are not looking for the lowest price. Only about 15 to 20 percent of buyers buy because of price. We're going to teach you how to elevate your value in your offering so that you're attracting a better buyer, a buyer who is not concerned about price. The seventh myth that we want to expose is that reach is more important than frequency. That is a myth. As, as your newspaper rep comes in, as your radio rep comes in, as your TV or cable rep comes in, they're going to tell you that reach is more important than frequency. That's why the radio guys tell you that I've got the biggest station around or the newspaper reaches 95% of the, of the metro. Okay, uh, The cable guy is going to tell you how, you how to reach all these people on all these different networks. And I'm telling you, it's a waste of your money. What you need to do is focus on a smaller group of people and reach them relentlessly with repetition and frequency over and over and over until you become a household word and name in their house. Okay, You want to own their heart, their mind, their soul. You want to own them as your customer and then what happens is you gain their influence with their friends, neighbors, relatives, and business associates, expanding your sphere of influence by four, five, six times um, just for the same amount of money because you didn't go after the myth of reach is more important than frequency. You took the approach that frequency is more important and to reach a smaller group of people and to reach them relentlessly with frequency. That is a much better play for a local business. So those are seven of the myths that you'll hear. I want to expose those now. There are many more that we'll talk about um, in the coming days. But right now, you've got to understand that exposing these myths is critical for you to understand how to do marketing and advertising well. And really, why, why you're being constrained in your marketing and advertising, why it's not working, is because you've been led to believe these types of myths. That's what they are. They're myths. And I want to share with you now the truth. I want to reveal to you the truth. What we want to do is lay a foundation that marketing is everything that you do to gain and retain a customer. Now that's a pretty simple definition, but it's also a holistic definition. Okay, It's holistic because we're looking at everything from gaining customers to retaining them and everything in between. Okay, Wealth in business is created after the sale is made in retain, retaining a customer and getting their repeat business and referrals to other like-minded people. That's where wealth is created. Okay, So the truth is that marketing is everything you do to gain and retain a customer. It includes the advertising that you do. It also includes the people you hire and how you train them, the decor of your business. Uh, there are so many factors that go into marketing uh, that most business owners and even media reps don't ever think about. And so what we do in our holistic approach to marketing and business growth is we take the definition that marketing is everything you do to gain and retain a customer and we teach you how to create marketing in every area of your business so that you can grow your business not just incrementally but by leaps and bounds uh, because you're going to be doing things differently than anybody else. The other truth is that the customer is only interested in one thing. What's in it? for me. You see too much advertising is done uh, talking about the customer or talking about the uh, your product and how long you've been in business and your employees and how many years of, of employee service you have or, or years in the business. All of that falls into the category of who cares? Really? The customer is only interested in what's in it for me. I usually illustrate a story here with uh, a drill bit. Uh, last year Black & Decker uh, created and, and made a, about a million quarter inch drill bits. And they, they sold them all. 
and it's been proven that everybody who bought a quarter inch drill bit, no one wanted a drill bit. They all wanted a hole. Okay, the customer is interested in a hole. In order to get the hole, he has to buy a drill bit. Well, what's Black & Decker want to talk about? They want to talk about their drill bit and the quality of the drill bit and the type of steel they use in the drill bit and how long they've been making drill bits. We don't care. I want a hole, okay? Talk to me in your marketing and advertising about what it will do for me, about the benefits. Focus all of your energies and all of your advertising and marketing on the customer and what the customer wants, and your marketing is going to work a lot better. We'll tell you, teach you how to do that. The most effective marketing for local small business is direct response marketing. Okay, Direct response marketing is marketing where you are going out and you are making an offer to the public, to your market. You're making them an offer and you have a time limit on that offer. Okay, And you have a code of some nature on that offer so that you can know how many of those peak customers came back and took you up on your offer. And you can track how many dollars were earned from that customer from that offer and you can track it through the system. Most small business people that I work with, when I first meet them, they have no tracking in place. They don't understand direct response marketing. They are stuck in a brand oriented marketing strategy. Okay, That doesn't work for small business. You, you don't have the money to waste. You've got to get results and ROI on everything that you spend. That's why the most effective marketing for local small businesses is direct response marketing. Now, the most profitable medium for local small businesses is the effective use of direct mail. Okay, as a small business owner, you have lots of mediums to choose from. You have radio and newspaper and outdoor and cable and TV and, and Valpac, and the list goes on and on and on and on. The most profitable medium for local small businesses is the effective use of direct mail. Okay, effective there is the key word because I talk to business owners every day and they all look at me and say, well, direct mail doesn't work for my business. And I completely disagree because I bring to the table strategies and methods to make direct mail work phenomenally well. It can be the highest impact, lowest cost medium to deliver your message to a distinct market. And that's what you need to do as a, as a local small business. And we're going to teach you how to do that. So why aren't you hearing this? From anyone else well because there is no direct mail rep out there knocking on your door every month like there is the radio rep or the newspaper rep or something okay so that's why and secondly the radio and, and, and newspaper guys they don't want you to know this they don't understand it at all so that's why you're not hearing it from anybody else but let's look at some direct mail facts okay these are not made up things these are facts and in sources are available upon request okay 50% of consumers say that they pay more attention to postal mail than email. Okay, How many emails do you get a day or a week or a month? How many of them do you really pay attention to? Okay, 50% of consumers pay more attention to postal mail than email. 60% of consumers say they enjoy checking their mailbox and receiving mail. Now, I'm, I'm weird, okay? I'm in the marketing and advertising world. I love going to the mailbox and opening it up and pulling out the mail to see what's in there. I get a kick out of it sometimes. I weep over it most days because most direct mail that I get is really bad, okay? Occasionally, I'll get a really good piece. We got a good piece the other day from uh, Geico. It was a fabulous piece, one letter in a, in a great envelope, and my 16-year-old son and I spent about eight and a half minutes with that one letter because they created it so it was very interactive and what they did is they started to win my emotional aspect and they've, they've moved me a little bit closer to using Geico because of that one piece of mail. So anyway, uh, people like to check their mailboxes. Tangible materials such as direct mail trigger a much deeper level of emotional processing in the brain than other media. Okay, remember the, the emotion versus logic thing we were talking about? You've got to reach the emotions. And if tangible materials reach a deeper part of the emotional processing of the brain, I'm all, of, I'm all after it. Let's go for it. Investment in direct mail for advertising purposes rose by 5.8% from 2010 to 2011. Okay, more and more businesses are investing in direct mail for advertising purposes. So direct mail is not going away by any shape or form or thought. Direct mail is increasing year after year. 
Nothing outperforms direct mail for nonprofit new donor acquisition. If you run a nonprofit, if you're on a board of a nonprofit and you're trying to get new donors, acquire new donors, you need to be doing direct mail. It is by far the number one way to attract new donors to a nonprofit. Even Google uses direct mail to sell its pay per click and Google Places advertising medium. Did you hear that? Google uses direct mail to sell its pay per click and Google, Google Places advertising media. Now, why would they do that? Okay, they're, they're, they're like the world's number one online website for search engines. Okay, they've got people coming to them, they've got people getting these Google Places for free. Why don't they just sell it there? Because they know the power of direct mail, and that's why they use direct mail to sell the pay-per-click and Google Places advertising. If Google's using direct mail, do you think maybe you should consider it too? So who else is using direct mail and direct response type marketing? Well, let's take a look. This was in my mailbox the other day. I walked out to my mailbox and I opened it up and I was happily involved in a number of direct mail, direct response pieces. So we see here on the, on the very top, it's the Lawn Doctor. Uh, that's the company that's trying to woo my business to uh, spray my yard to keep the weeds out. You'll notice right there the big envelope, big savings on weed-free lawn for the DeLon family. So it's personalized to me. Save $45 on your service for one full year. Expires on. There's a date. Act now. That's a direct response, direct mail piece. Okay, Kohl's. Kohl's a big depart department store. They're sending me a big, big envelope, 6 by 9 envelope with information right on the front of the envelope. I don't even have to open it to see what's in there. I open it up and there's a postcard in there with more offers. Okay, so it's direct response from Kohl's. They're a, a clothing store. Pella Windows, okay, Pella Window and Door Replacement. Save $500 on your Pella project. Okay, it goes through and it has a time uh, frame by April 15th, I think it is, it says there. Um, so Pella Windows is using direct mail with direct response offers. And then the family council there is doing a, it's a nonprofit that's sending out a letter to raise money. They're using direct mail to acquire donors, okay? Those are some of the people using direct mail. Uh, this was kind of fun. It's waste management. I think they're the largest, um, what, garbage recycling company in the world. Uh, they just started doing this new recycling program where I live, and I got this in the mail, and it's sign up for free today. It has a code and a website to go to, and basically you get points for recycling, um, stuff around your house, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it's, it's really neat. It's a new ploy on bringing joint ventures together and it's a direct response uh, mechanism because they got me to go to the website and put in my information so that I could win some points to get some free coffee from Starbucks or something. Uh, but again, it's direct mail, direct response advertising. Uh, Kroger, uh, the nation's number one and largest grocery chain. Kroger is doing direct mail, direct response advertising. Okay, it looks like bonus savings picked just for you. There are coupons inside. Okay, it's direct mail, came right to my house, and it's direct response because I open it up, I grab a coupon, I go back into Kroger, and I buy something. Okay, that's direct mail, direct response advertising. Direct mail and direct response are most certainly alive and well. There is no question that direct mail is the choice for local businesses that want to grow. Now, does that mean direct mail is the only media you should use? Absolutely not. There are all kinds of media out there, and you need to, as a wise business owner, you need to understand all the media and which one's going to produce the best for you. Um, direct mail needs to be your backbone most of the time for your advertising and marketing and business growth, but there are other media that you can use without question. Direct mail works best with direct response offers. I think this is where most people fail in direct mail. They send something out and it's this pretty brochure with your logo all over it and hours and service and your phone number and all of that, but there's no offer, okay? You've got to make an offer with your direct mail piece, and we're going to teach you how to do that. Direct mail gets better response with sequential mailings, okay? And that's the other place that business owners fail in direct mail. They send out one piece. I'm keeping all the direct mail that's coming to my house right now, and I'm making piles of, of each different company to see how many companies actually send me more than one piece. It's rare that I get more than one piece from anybody. No wonder direct mail doesn't work. With sequential mailings, you're, it's that frequency that I was talking about earlier. You're going after a specific market, and you're going after them over and over and over and over and over. And we, we did this with, with one of my clients, and after, I think it was the fourth mailing, the guy finally responded. 
and he said, you know what, you guys just wore me down. Your marketing's really good, but you just wore me down, okay? We were the only ones sending him more than one piece of, of mail, and it works. Now, there are many ways to make direct mail stand out, and, and we'll talk about a few of them here today. Uh, there are many ways to make direct mail fun to receive, and, and that's the beauty of direct mail is you can make people smile, and when they smile, they build an emotional connection to you, and it, it makes selling to them much more pleasant. Now, the problem is that very few people understand direct mail and direct response marketing, so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Now, here's a quick marketing lesson. There are three stages of business. Okay, Every business can be broken down into these three stages. This is part of our holistic approach to business growth. The three stages of any business are the attract stage, where you're attracting customers to you. The engage stage, that's when a customer first engages with you, whether that's um, hitting your website, picking up the phone and calling you, or actually physically walking through your front door. That's the engage phase. And what they experience at the engage phase better match up with what you told them to expect in the attract phase, okay? That's why the arrows in between and the lines in between, they all work together. So you have the attract phase leading to the engage phase. Once you engage with them, they buy or they don't buy. That puts them into the retain phase where you now are trying to retain their business for life get their repeat business and get them to refer you to their friends, neighbors, relatives, and business associates who will then come back into the attract phase. So you can see the, the holistic nature of this, the attracting customers, engaging with them profitably, and then retaining them for life. Those are the three stages of business growth that we'll talk about over and over again. The other aspect is the alphabet maze. Now the alphabet maze, usually what happens is as a business owner, you want to take somebody from A to Z. From, from initial contact to the sale as fast as you can. Well, the, the challenge is that rarely happens. Normally, people have to walk through the alphabet maze. They have to go from A to B to C to D to E to F to G all the way through. Some people have to take all 26 steps, which is great. Other people only take two or three and they skip to the end, okay? But you have to understand that you have to take people and, and every customer is different and you've got to walk with them at their pace and you need to be patient and wait for them to have need for your product and when they have need, because you've marketed to them so frequently, you're going to be the only one they want to do business with. Okay, Marketing is like a marathon. It's not a sprint. Okay, You have to be in it for the long haul. And when you are, your business will grow. Now, the third thing and the last thing in our little marketing seminar here is the marketing triad. Okay, The marketing triad composes, c comprises your message, your market and your medium. Those three are the marketing triad. Your message, most business owners, most businesses have no message at all. They really don't. They're, they're, they're just putting out their logo or I'm a John Deere dealer, here come buy my John Deere. Okay, that's no message. Uh, a lot of them, some of them actually have the wrong message. Okay, what we wanna do is help you create the right message because when you have the right message, everything becomes clear. Also in your market, we want you to focus on one market at a time. Okay? You can have multiple markets, but you have to focus on one at a time. There are different types of markets. Uh, we look at current customers as a market. We look at lost customers as a market. And we look at ideal customers as a market. So we want to look at those markets and, and create marketing and advertising for each one of those markets with the right message. Then we have to look at what medium do we use to deliver that message to that market. Now, when you tip talk medium, you usually think, you know, radio and TV and outdoor and all of that. I like to look at it as offline media, online media, and combine media. Because there are strategies that we bring to the table to help you understand how to do a direct mail piece, to drive people to a website, to get their name and email uh, for a free report, or pick up the phone and call you, or have a CD that you'll send to them, or some kind of a offer that you'll send to them in the mail. So now you have their mailing address, so you can start direct mailing to them as well. Um, there, there are lots of ways that we can go about um, combining media, and there, there's great um, leverage that we bring to the table, and that's how you grow your business. So it's the marketing triad, and the three stages of business, and the alphabet maze are the uh, mini marketing seminar inside this workshop tonight. Now, the problem. The problem is that most local business owners, including you, are being misinformed by the media. Okay, Because of this, 
you are wasting thousands of dollars every month on advertising that's not working. How are you being misinformed? You're being misinformed because they're telling you, telling you those myths of advertising and marketing, those seven myths, and there are many others. They're telling you those myths and leading you to believe those lies. And that's why your marketing and advertising is not working right. Okay, You're wasting thousands of dollars every month on advertising that's not working. You can't track what's working and what isn't because when you do brand-oriented advertising, there's no tracking possible. Most people put out weak advertising. They have websites that have no purpose. You get all kinds of visitors and, and hits to your website, but that doesn't translate into a name. It doesn't convert into a sale, and you don't have any way to track it. Okay, Those are, those are problems. The other problem is you don't know how to change it. Most of the business owners I talk to have no clue how to change and go from where they are to where they want to be. That's what we're going to talk about tonight and help you with a new system that will help you change everything we've talked about. So here's the concept. As I thought about all of this, and, and I deal with this every day with business owners, how do we relieve the pressure and the stress and the frustration of business owners who have marketing and advertising that doesn't work well? Here's the concept that I came up with after going to the ATM with my boy or for my boys and putting that money in the bank. I wanted to create a system that removes all of the challenges that business owners face in their marketing and equip them with a simple turnkey method that will allow them to attract, engage, and retain customers for life. I call it the ATM marketing system. As simple as putting money in the bank. ATM stands for Automated Turnkey Monthly Marketing System. So the ATM components, what makes up the ATM system? Proven marketing ideas and examples that you can use immediately. Downloadable, done for you, templates and graphics for print and for web. A quick and easy to read monthly printed newsletter filled with marketing ideas, examples, and templates to help you jumpstart ideas and generate successful campaigns along with insightful articles to help you develop a proper marketing mindset. And fourth, continuous individual and group training. Those are the components of the ATM marketing system. Now, what this looks like, okay, so this is an example of the um, March um, ATM system. There's a, a, a printed or, or an online uh, place where you can download this letter that's on the left, the gift certificate letter. And it's really a cool letter because you can uh, mail merge your entire list into each one of these gift certificates. So you put in the dollar amount. This one actually was for my, my boys. We used it for my boys on their lawn mowing business. Um, Caleb and Jeremy Delon, they're the Delon boys. And get it? So we put out a $10 coupon, save $10, and this one's to the Delon family. Uh, from the Delon boys, it expired on March 17th because it's a St. Patrick's Day um, theme. And then um, actually it goes down there and, and uh, it's Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, it says. It should say Delon. Uh, here's a $10 gift certificate just for you, but don't wait too long. It expires on March 17th, 2012. And then it goes on and explains, and it has an entire theme around St. Pat Patrick's Day. It's got a little graphic there with the uh, um, St. Patrick's four-leaf clover thing. And then at the bottom, it has their personal risk-free guarantee, their 100% money-back guarantee. So that's the letter that, that you would get. You would um, be able to go online, download this, and mail merge your list right into this um, gift certificate. You can use it in a direct mail piece. You could use it at a trade show. You could take it and uh, just, just print out that certificate and, and hand it out to people. So it doesn't have to be that you're mailing this. You could use it in a variety of ways. You could use it during that engage phase when a customer comes in, you could hand it to them right there for their next visit. You could do all kinds of different things with this gift certificate. But the cool thing is it's personalized. How many times have you opened up a letter and saw your name on a gift certificate? Okay, it just doesn't happen. So it, this is one way to make you stand out with direct mail the way we used it. Um, but there are a variety of ways you could use that gift certificate template. And the cool thing is once you have it, you have it. You know, we can use this gift certificate for anything. Um, it doesn't have to just be St. Patty's Day. Then the envelope template off to the right, that envelope template is a six by nine template for this one particular one. And it's made to go hand in hand with this. So on the outside of the envelope, it says, you know, do not bend, gift certificate enclosed. 
and then we put the little um, clover thing on there as well. So the outside of the envelope matches what's on the inside of the envelope. And when you mark it like this, it's a direct response offer. Okay, there's a there's a an, an offer that we're making them, and there's a time frame. So we can track this. But the offer is inside of an envelope that it all ties together. If you did this on a uh, on a regular basis to a group of people to your market, you're going to get better results because they're going to come to expect um, from you great marketing pieces like this. And th these are fun to receive in the mail. Now, so that's the 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 uh, letter aspect of it that's all downloadable. Also, what you'd get in the system are web graphics. So here's a website header graphic around uh, St. Patrick's Day, a website footer graphic. So if you're if you if you're having a uh, if you're sending that letter out and you're going to bounce them to a page on your website, you can have that page look like St. Patrick's Day. So it all ties together, right? We provide all of these to you every month. You don't have to do a thing. You don't need a graphic artist, you don't need a web design, you don't need anything. You just put these on your website and it's done. It's a done for you system. Also emails, you have you have uh, people that you email all the time. Here's an email header graphic that ties in with it that as well. So now you have a you have a direct mail piece, an email piece and a website piece that's all coordinated for you. It's all done for you. Now that is how you leverage different media online and offline to grow your business. Um, nobody's doing this out there because it takes too much time. I mean, only the big companies are. Now we've made it possible so that everybody, local businesses like you, can do great marketing on a regular basis, month in and month out, tying everything together in a really cool way. In addition, there are other um, files that you'll be able to get downloadable for, for this. For instance, there's the green gift certificate. Uh, there's a, another gift certificate that's kind of goldish there. They were both in there. Uh, we have saved lots on green on St. Patty's Day. That's a graphic that you can put on your letter. You could put it on the envelope. You can put it wherever you need to put it. Okay, you could use it in multiple places. Again, it's a St. Patty's Day theme. All right, the uh, Do Not Bend certificate enclosed comes in black or red, so you can manipulate that. You can use that anytime. It's not just St. Patty's Day. Okay, so now you have these. You're building your own graphics library. So you can pick and choose these things and do multi a multiplicity of advertising projects uh, throughout the entire year. So it's not just that you're limited to one a month. You can do whatever you want with these things. And then the printed newsletter on the right, the ATM Marketing System printed newsletter, uh, your source for done for you, automated turnkey mar monthly marketing, uh, where we're going to have ideas and thoughts and campaigns that you can use immediately. That's what it looks like. Now, here's what others are saying. The most difficult, expensive, and most time-consuming part of creating marketing materials is already done for you. This is my favorite part. I can literally download the templates, which are in Word format, and quickly tweak them and then just get them off to the printer. Not only that, but I don't have to rack my brain each month trying to figure out what to implement next in order to help me grow my business. The newsletter is quick and easy to read and is also filled with high quality real world information that other successful business owners are using to take their business to the next level. Thanks for making my life easier. That's what this system is all about. Helping you give you a simple system to make more money and grow your business. Here's another one. It is perfect. A mail version, my favorite way to read, and templates online. Wow! I don't know how you can deliver all that content at such a low price, but count me in. Okay. The third one. I used the gift certificate to extreme success. Within the first day that I sent out the certificate, three sales came in. I filled out the certificate with certain amounts, emailed and hand delivered these to current customers. They loved it. Not so much the savings, but more the personalization and the appreciation of the letter. Can you say emotion? I also used the certificate to acquire new business. With a few tweaks, I was able to drop off and cold call businesses with this special offer certificate and was able to pick up four new customers. I am now working on another idea with the certificate. Thanks for such a great program. Okay, so you can see they, these people are using this system in a multiplicity of ways. Now, what you have to understand is you won't be left alone. Too many times I've bought into systems like this thinking I was getting one thing and ended up getting a bunch of tapes and CDs and, and binders and I was left all alone and that is not going to happen here. So you're not going to get left alone. We're going to be working with you. Okay, We're going to have live 
phone coaching as part of this program. Every week, we're going to have a one-hour coaching call as part of this program. Additionally, we're, we've built into it a mastermind group because we know that business owners need to get together peer-to-peer -to -peer and work through issues, talk about what's working, talk about what's not, because many times you've dealt with something that somebody else is just now dealing with for the first time. And that mastermind group is where you're going to sharpen your saw and you're going to hone your skills and you're going to grow your business through the online coaching and the mastermind group. The mastermind group is 90 minutes each month and we're going to do that um, as well. So you're not going to be alone in this. You're going to have the monthly newsletter. You're going to have the monthly templates. You're going to have a, a one hour live phone coaching every week and you're going to have the uh, monthly mastermind group 90 minutes with your peers to grow your business. This is a complete system. You're going to start out with a free marketing workshop where you'll learn the three components of a successful marketing campaign. We'll uncover in detail the seven marketing myths that constrain most small businesses and we'll unpack for you the three worlds of business and the five pillars of business growth. We'll also give you an annual marketing calendar which keeps you ahead of the curve. We're going to give you a monthly printed newsletter with mindset and examples that you can model downloadable marketing templates just like you've seen simplify the process and they're ready to print in under 10 minutes you're gonna have coordinated web banners that integrates online and offline campaigns you're gonna have the magnificent marketing ebook that's the ebook that I wrote it ensures great headlines and copy to help you write letters and and emails and everything that you're going to be writing uh, bi-weekly coaching calls keeping you focused and moving forward we're going to have bi-weekly video training modules additionally that are thought-provoking and actionable. These are short, concise, uh, just real pithy uh, video training modules focused on marketing. We're going to have monthly mastermind gatherings, building community, sharing ideas, and removing obstacles. So it's time for you to stop being misinformed by media reps and social gurus. It's time to stop being led to believe myths that constrain you to lower sales, profits, and income. And it's time to stop spending your money, time, and resources on advertising that's not working. And it is time for you to start using a system that does it all for you, the ATM marketing system. It really is as simple as putting money in the bank. The most successful businesses in the world use an ATM approach to their marketing. Subway, Papa John's Pizza, Chick-fil-A, Serve Pro, Cold Stone Creamery, GNC, and great clips. They all use an ATM approach to their marketing. Now you can too. The ATM marketing system, as simple as putting money in the bank, automated turnkey monthly marketing system for your business. So why use the ATM? Well, first of all, you want to reduce risk with a proven model. You will see results when you use the ATM system. It'll save your time. There's no need to think up what you will do next month. It's 90% complete when it arrives. Maximize consistency online and offline. You'll save money on campaign development and design. You'll increase your ROI with direct response offers that you can track. You'll have less hassle and more free time. You'll put more money in the bank and you'll stack the deck in your favor and say goodbye to all those meetings and media reps. You'll take control of your business, your income, and your future. It is time for you to take control. Now is the time for you to take control of your business, your income, and your life. Start earning the income you deserve by using the system that's proven to attract customers and help you retain them for life. The ATM marketing system does it all for you. Sign up today and receive a free marketing workshop where you'll learn the three components of a successful marketing campaign. We'll uncover in detail the seven marketing myths that constrain most businesses and we'll unpack for you the three worlds of business and the five pillars of business growth. That is a value of $97. An annual marketing calendar, it'll keep you ahead of the curve. That has a value of $69, that's yours free. The monthly printed newsletter with mindset and examples that you can model, that's an $89 per month value. A downloadable marketing templates, simplify the process, ready to print in less than 10 minutes, you've seen them, it's a value of $149 a month. The coordinated web banners, integrating online and offline campaigns, again, the value of that is another $149 a month. 
magnificent marketing ebook, ensuring great headlines and copy, $79. Bi weekly coaching calls, keeping you focused and moving forward, that has a value of $697 per month. That is the normal fee for that type of a coaching. The bi weekly video training modules, thought provoking and actionable uh, dra uh, video training models, that's $67 per month. The monthly mastermind gathering, build community, share ideas, and remove obstacles, that's $599 per month. The total value of this entire package, this ATM marketing system, is $1,849 per month. ATM makes it simple. The ATM marketing system will help you to put more money in your bank by making it simple for you to attract more customers, increase your sales, and expand your income each and every month. It's a complete done-for-you marketing system that's as simple as putting money in the bank. The ATM marketing system is 100% fully guaranteed. If after 90 days you are not completely blown away by the superior quality of the materials, absolutely thrilled with the simplicity of this system, and fully convinced that this is the best choice you have ever made in business, simply let me know and I'll give you a complete 100% refund of every penny you invested. So what should you do now? Register right now and put the ATM marketing system to work for you at our special introductory phase pricing. The ATM marketing system normally sells for $989 per month. The total system value, remember, is $1,849 per month. But the introductory phase pricing is $497 per month. Now there is a limited availability. We're only accepting 50 new customers into this program during the introductory phase. It's a limited time offer. We're closing the introductory phase window in 72 hours. That means that you'll never again be able to get all these benefits for the minuscule investment of just $497 per month. Consider how much you will save with the ATM marketing system in time and money each month. Just one successful campaign will more than pay for the entire system. Then consider how much you will earn when you're using the ATM marketing system each and every month. Now, here's a bonus offer. Register right now and you'll also receive my Masters of Marketing interview series. These are in-depth interviews with current day Masters of Marketing and Business Growth from a variety of disciplines. This is a 948 value, yours free, when you install the ATM marketing system right now. Go ahead, click the Add to Cart button and get access to every issue of the Masters of Marketing interview series and the entire ATM marketing system. Sign up today and receive a free marketing workshop, the annual marketing calendar, monthly printed newsletter, a downloadable marketing templates, coordinated web banners, magnificent marketing ebook, the bi-weekly coaching calls, the bi-weekly video training modules, and the monthly mastermind gathering. Click the Add to Cart button and turn your business into a cash-generating machine with the ATM marketing system. The ATM marketing system, as simple as putting money in the bank. Go ahead, click the Add to Cart button now, and I look forward to helping you grow your business.